Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am excited to show you how to create a storyboard where every frame feels like part of a single. Thanks to the storyboard low A, we can now generate storyboards that keep the same style, lighting and character flow across multiple frames, making it feel like a well-directed movie sequence. So, what makes this LOA special? It doesn't just create a single fantastic image. It lets you generate a whole storyboard in one go. The storyboard low array achieves this by letting us generate multiple images as one batch from a single prompt. Each frame aligns perfectly with the next, a maintaining character consistency and style. So you get a seamless story flow from start to finish. First, go to comfyuiblog.com and navigate to the workflow section. Here, you'll find the storyboard law A workflow along with all the resources you'll need to run it. Download workflow from this section and once you have it ready, go ahead and load the workflow in Comfy UI. Now that it's loaded, here's a look of workflow. You'll see that we're using the Flux 1 DevSafe tensors for model. For the dual clip, we're going with Clip I and T5 double XL. Now, we're going to load the VAE F variational auto encoder and use the dot safe tensors model. I'm also using the Ultra Reels Photo Low Array to enhance realism, which we covered in a previous video. Make sure you check that out if you haven't already. And don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tips. Settings for this workflow Low Array. Set the strength to 1A both model and clip. Model sampling flux. This should be at 1.15 for maximum shift and 0.5 for base shift resolution. Resolution I recommend 1024 by 1536 for the best results. A scheduler used simple with 40 steps. Flux Gudense set this to 3.5. If you prefer a lighter, quicker generation, you can bypass the ultra realistic photo option and reduce the steps to 20. Now, let's talk about the test encoder. The key to making sure our characters stay consistent across frames. I've broken this process down into three frames that we'll generate. For each frame, we'll give it a unique image to match the storyline. In the first shot, I'll describe the environment a warm portrayal of family dynamics. For this, I'll write Shao Liam. So, Liam is our character and we'll make sure to use this symbol consistently in every image, so he stays the same. Here's how it works. When you use the test encoder, it locks in the character's look across multiple frames. In the second frame, I'll introduce Sophia as the character, and Liam will still look the same from the first shot. So, in the first frame, Liam is helping his little sister Sophia with her homework at the dining table. Their expressions are serious, but playful. I've added the term amateurish photo to trigger the ultra real photo feature. Without this, the ultra real photo could be bypassed and the result wouldn't look as realistic. Now, in the second frame, we shift to the living room where Sophia is proudly holding up her completed project. You can see the pride in her eyes and Liam shares in her joy. Again, I've added amateurish photo to maintain consistency with the ultra realistic look. In the final frame, both siblings are snuggled on the couch, enjoying a movie together. Their laughter fills the room as they share a special moment. This is how we write prompts to make sure every image flows together in a storyboard. Now, it's time to generate our first example. So, here's the result. As you can see, the characters have stayed consistent across the frames and we've successfully created three frames for this shot. It's amazing how well the system maintains continuity from one scene to the next. Let's take a closer look by disabling the ultra-realistic photo and reducing the steps to 20. Now, check how the three scenes have turned out in the first frame. Liam is helping Sophia with her homework at the dining table. In the second frame, Sophia is proudly holding up her completed project, her eyes sparkling with pride. 
In the third frame, both siblings are snuggled up on the couch, laughing together. However, I noticed that instead of a couch, it created a sofa in the background. I forgot to remove the MCHS photos. So let's fix that and try again. Now looking at the results, you can see that based on your prompts, you can customize the outcome. For example, if you want to add realistic photography or a cinematic shot, you can do so. If you prefer ultra realistic photos, you can enable that feature to make the images even more lifelike. For this workflow, I've kept it disabled, but the choice is entirely yours depending on how realistic you want the scene to appear. So, look at the result after adding a cinematic movie shot. You can see how much the image has improved. Adding that cinematic photo style really changes the look. And one more thing. I've created a LoRa for Moody, dark tone film photography. You can download it from here. This LoRa will give your images the dark filmic vibe. And remember, when using it, make sure to use Just Add Cozy Dark in a warm portrayal of family dynamics and set the strength to 0.9. Now, in another example, I'm using dark tone film photography with the Cozy Dark trigger word in a dim kitchen of a forgettable farmhouse. The first image shows Sarah, a young girl, staring down at her notebook under a single fluorescent light. She's blinking at the dark window, her hand resting on the table. Let's take a look at how this image turned out. After applying the dark tone film photography LoRa, you can see how good and atmospheric the image is. It feels like a scene straight out of a horror cinematic movie. Now, let's move on to another example. Right now, I'm using the dark tone film photography style for a vibrant festival scene. In the first image, we find Leo, a shy boy standing at the edge of a bustling carnival, surrounded by colorful rides and laughter. In the second image, the scene transitions as Leo reluctantly tries a daring game with his friends cheering him on. And in the final image, it culminates in a triumphant moment where Leo holds up a giant soft beer, his face beaming with pride for everyone to see. Now, let's generate these images. As you can see, the character is consistent, the faces are the same, and the images have been generated frame by frame. A first frame, second frame, and third frame. Now. Let's disable the dark tone node and try generating it again. The result is good, but it's not quite as realistic as we'd like. To fix this, we'll apply a cinematic movie scene look and add a realistic story tag instead of cozy dark. For this scene, we'll add a cinematic movie scene tag to give it a more vibrant festival feel. And that's how you can give a cinematic look to your images. So now it's time to test on a different resolution. We're using a width of 10 to 40 and a height of 5 to 12. And here's our next example now. Uh, let's dive into another prompt titled a tender version of first love. In the first image, we see Jamie nervously arranging flowers in a park, uh, glancing around as if waiting for someone special. The scene transitions in the second image when Sam arrives at their eyes meeting with a shy smile that speaks volumes. In the third image, we see them sitting on a bench, sharing stories and laughter, surrounded by a breeze that seems to bless the magic of young romance. We used a resolution of 1040 by 5500 for this scene. And here's the result. In the first frame, Jamie is arranging flowers and waiting for someone special. Look at how well this image was created. Here's Jamie, nervously arranging flowers, looking around, waiting. Then in another image, Sam arrives, and their eyes meet, perfectly captured in the moment. And finally, in another image, we see them sitting on a bench, sharing stories, basking in the glow of young love. So before we wrap up, let's take a closer look at the final result of this series. Last example. In a heartwarming depiction of a community gathering, image 1 captures Ila Piripin's colorful decoration for the local festival. 
Image 2 then shifts to her helping Tom set up a booth, their teamwork highlighted by laughter and shared smiles. Finally, we have the festival in full swing, with Ella and Tom surrounded by their friends, their joy radiating against the vibrant festival scene. And we've edited it to give it that cinematic movie feel, realistic and vivid. So, so this really looks like a movie storyboard. And look at how realistic this looks. By testing a resolution of 1040 by 502, we get a much better image. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.